it's going to be a very unsettled weekend indeed. With coastal gales, especially towards the west, plenty of heavy rain, but the temperatures will rise. Bye bye. Hello, I'm Christian Fraser. You're watching The Context on BBC News. You have manifestly and repeatedly failed to deliver on every single one of these key policies. Either your distinctive style of government means you are incapable of doing so, or, as I must surely conclude now, you never had any intention of keeping your promises. I printed it out and, armed with my highlighter pen, I thought I would highlight the key bits that jumped out. I then realised I'd pretty much highlighted the entire thing, it is dripping with derision about the Prime Minister. Her letter is eye-wateringly excoriating. I've never seen a resignation like it. I can't recall one from history. Suella Braverman's letter is just the latest instalment in a Tory psychodrama that's been playing out over the last 13 years, holding the rest of the country to ransom while the Tories fight among themselves. Suella Braverman promised she would have more to say after her sacking yesterday. Tonight, she has vented her anger. In a letter dripping with derision, the former Home Secretary accuses the Prime Minister of putting off the tough decisions in order to minimise political risk. Weakness, she says. We'll get reaction to that letter tonight from our panel, the Deputy Political Editor for The Guardian, Peter Walker, and also joining us from Washington, the Conservative commentator, Carrie Sheffield. President Biden is about to touch down in San Francisco ahead of a crunch meeting tomorrow with the Chinese President, Xi Jinping. And we'll be keeping an eye on a crucial vote in Washington tonight. The House scheduled to vote later on a bill that could avert a government shutdown on Saturday. Good evening. Was this the night of the long knife? It remains to be seen whether Suella Bravman has inflicted a mortal wound on this Prime Minister, but the open letter she published tonight is a zinger. No 